Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Vivs here from Slide Nerd. Today, I'm going to show you the recycling review on your screen. And I'm also going to discuss about iconography or how you should make icons inside the recycling review according to the iconography guidelines in material design. If you haven't seen the previous parts, be sure to watch them first because this is basically a continuation of what I did so far. So, let's start. Get item count returns the total number of items in the data set held by the adapter. So that's all we are returning here by data.size. So at this point things look good with respect to the adapter. All we got to do is go to our main which is our navigation from our fragment and create an object of this adapter. We can go here so we say private webs adapter adapter here and we got to initialize it with the data if you guys remember inside the on create view method we have our recycler view specified here. What we need to do is first create an array list of information objects that we can pass. So let's build that. The data that I need to display is nothing great. I'll simply create a method here saying public static void for now. I don't know the return type. I'll simply call that method as get data. It's pretty static out here. I have images as you can see there's number one and there's three other images like that two, three and four. And other than that I'll display some text. Now at this point I know what you guys are going to say. Hey, how to display data from a XML feed, JSON feed, Facebook SDK, SQLite, Content Provider, Parse.com, Backend, PHP, MySQL. Great. But first, read the statement. Go to your material design specifications. Go to swipe to refresh and take a look at this statement here, which says navigation drawers, if present in an app, contain navigation destinations, not dynamic content. This means it's a strict no-no. You're not going to load data from JSON, you're not going to do stuff like that inside your navigation drawers recycler view. However, I will show you how to load dynamic data in the recycler view once we get to making one inside the main activity in, instead of the navigation drawer. So here there's the get data method. All I got to do here is build up an array list of information. If you remember my adapter, it requires an array list in the constructor or a list of information type here. So I go here simply inside my drawer fragment. I'm going to simply say list here, information, call that data equals to new array list. And at this point, I have an integer array for all the icons. I'll simply say int icons here are the drawable, the IC number one. Let me add the others as well. Same way, I got to add all the titles. I'll make a string array here and I'll call that titles in this case. Again, let me add some dummy text for each title here. And now all I need to do is have a simple for loop to add the items that we want. So I'm going to simply say int i equals to 0, i less than titles.length and i should also be less than icons.length at the same time because I want to make sure that if we change the size of one of the items, the app doesn't crash over here. So i++ plus plus and simply go inside and make a new information object if you guys remember. Nothing great info inside the information class we have. We can simply say information current equals to new information and all we need to do is set the fields out there so for example current dot icon id will be the current id of the array which is icons of i over here and the same way current dot title is gonna be our titles of i over here and all we need to do is add this information to our data by saying data dot add and we can simply say information here or current in this case and all we need to do is return this at the bottom which means the return type is list information instead of the normal thing which we had. So list information here and I'm going to simply go down and simply say return data. Everything is done as far as returning is constructed. Now let's make our adapter. All we got to do is make a field at the top which I've already done which is called webs adapter adapter. I'm going to initialize that inside on create view. I'll simply say adapter is new webs adapter. It needs two parameters. One is the context which is get activity in our case, other is the data which is get data in our case and we are good to go. Now we need to set this adapter on the recycler view by saying recycler view dot set adapter and adapter. Now at this point before you hurry and click run at the top remember we need to set the layout manager. So we are going to say recycler view dot set layout manager. And we'll say new linear layout manager because we want to display items one below each other just like a list view. We'll use the linear layout manager here which needs one argument which is the context in this case. We can simply pass get activity here and we can see what to do with it. Now let's run this and see our recycler view in action. 
So at this point, our app is running. Just start it and bam! Take a look at that. That's our recycler view. Of course, it looks light because if you go to our custom layout file, if you remember going here, the custom row is completely in dark. We can change the theme for this probably and get things a bit better. Or we can change the text color from here. But that's not the point. The point is, this is working. Take a look at that. If you click on it, nothing happens. Oops. And not even the drawer is closing. So how can we do all this? How can we make this look better? How can we make the icons look better? What color should we use on the title? What typography should we use here as per material design? Now, I made some changes. The theme is theme.appcompat.light.noactionbar. Initially, it was dark. So if you go to custom row.xml, you will see everything in bright. And if you go to our drawer here on the lollipop and the pre lollipop one, this is what you will see with the icons out here. Now, I want to take some time to explain about the iconography that we are going to use. And of course, there's typography as well because the list follows some specific rules for typography in material design. If you take a look at the old iconography specification in AndroidDeveloper.com, you'll find out that they say that all the dimensions are based on an MDPI screen here. The new design guidelines for icons are over here under style icons for the material design specs and if you go right to the top here you will notice that under the icons part they have product icons and system icons. Now product icons are basically the launcher icons that you're going to use to express your brand. Now here they have not said anything whether this is for an MDPI or HDPI screen. However, I'm going to assume that this is for an MDPI considering that the previous one was also about an MDPI screen they have given. So if you go down to the system icons part, that's exactly what we are interested in. Now at the time of making this video, I have access to no more resources than you have. And hence, then they have not given anything separate about what kind of icons you should use inside a list view or a recycler view. And hence, I'm going to follow the system icon guidelines for the recycler views icons. If you take a look at this, it says a system icon or UI icon symbolizes a command, file, device or directory. Now they are talking basically about the toolbar actions that are going to come up as icons inside your app. But I'm going to use the same, same guidelines out there for making a list icon or a recycler view icon inside my recycler view. So they say be, use basic geometric shapes, keep it simple, don't draw overly complex shapes. To go down further, they talk about the size as well. Take a look at that, that's 24 pixels they're talking about as the icon size at 800% scale. Now I want to tell you that if this is an MDPI, uh, baseline measurement then at MDPI 24 pixels is 24 dp that means for HDPI this becomes 32 for XHDPI it's 48 and for the double X version it's 72 if my mathematics is not wrong so go further down and if you take a look at the sizes they have specified over here there are four types of icons they say there's a square one there's a circle one and there's the vertical rectangle and the horizontal rectangle and they have specified the height and the width for each of them. If you go back to studio and if you take a look at my icon here, it's a square icon which tries to follow the 18 by 18. Now I have not drawn the icon from scratch. I have simply taken an existing open source icon for the purposes of demonstration and added the one inside it inside my illustrator. Now if you go further down, there's a lot of guidelines about how and what you should put inside this. For example, the position one here talks about stroke terminals. Now they say the stroke should be 2 dp or 2 pixels in width over here. And what you want to do is ensure that you don't have rounded corners with the strokes at the top. There's a stroke terminal at the top. And other than that, there are certain items and discussion about the space around the icon. For example, in this case, the total icon for an MDPI has 24 of area, but its total size is actually supposed to be 48, which looks as something like this if you see. The icons are well separated from each other with the extra 24 around them for making sure that the user is able to appropriately click the icons. Other than that, there's the, there's the discussion about don't use inconsistent stroke weights or rounded stroke terminals. Take a look at that. This is incorrect as per material design specs. Other than that, don't use 3D stuff or dimensional icons. Make it flat here. Other than that, take a look at this. Don't use complex icons. Try to use as simple ones as possible. Of course, don't use delicate thin stroke weights. So th this is less than 2 dp I believe so this is why they have said that this is an incorrect icon over here. So going further down if you take a look at the color they have said that use an opacity of 54%. In other words it's 46% transparent and 54% opaque. Now if you go to illustrator where I have made the icon you can actually set that by going to window transparency 
and there you go I already set 54 percent opacity which is why the icon looks like this and that's why I said that I've tried as much as possible to stick to the material design iconography guidelines over here so in this video we have covered how the recycler view is going to be set up in the next video let's further dive and see what we can do with the recycler view in the meantime if you like what you saw please like this video share this video subscribe to slide Nerd, and let us know your thoughts in the comment boxes below thanks for watching i'll catch you guys in the next video have a nice day